think that some additional context needs to be considered when thinking about children in this age range of COVID-19 illness. It is certainly true that children tend to have mild infection with COVID-19. However, some children do get very sick from this infection. We learned during the FDA review of the vaccine trials in this age range that of the almost 2 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 in this age range, there have been over 8,000 hospitalizations and over 150 COVID-19 related deaths. Additionally, of the over 5,000 cases of this serious inflammatory condition, MISC, that can be associated with COVID-19 infection, most of those occur in this age range. So being able to prevent any of those serious infections that lead to hospitalization, being able to prevent any pediatric fatality from this infection or to prevent MISC would be critically important reasons to be able to vaccinate this group. The practical answer to that question is that there needs to be an easily identifiable characteristic that is a cutoff point uh, for children to be scheduled for this vaccine and to be administered the vaccine. I think that families should take assurance from the knowledge that there was a very widespread in the size of children that participated in the phase three trials between five and six year olds and 10 and 11 year olds. And what we learned during the FDA review was that the immune responses in those two very different age ranges was actually still very similar. We also know that the immune responses in general to this lower dose that's being considered for five to 11 year olds was very similar to what's been achieved in older individuals with the higher dose of the vaccine. So families should take reassurance that their older children who may be of a larger size are not getting shortchanged in terms of immune response from this lower dose vaccine. The only real difference about the vaccine that is being considered for authorization in five to 11 year olds is the dose. The dose of this vaccine is a 10 microgram dose. So that's one third of the 30 microgram dose that has been authorized or approved for those 12 and older so far. That really is the only difference. It still will be given as two doses, three weeks apart. And other than that, it is the same vaccine formulation and otherwise the same vaccine as what's been used so far. Yes, it would be safe for your child to get the COVID-19 vaccine and a flu shot at the same time. We know based on decades now of giving multiple vaccines to children at the same time as part of the routine immunization series that begins in early infancy, that giving multiple vaccines at the same time is both safe and effective. And specific to this combination of the COVID-19 vaccine and the flu shot, we also do now have some well-controlled study data in adults in a study from the UK where individuals were given their second dose of a COVID vaccine and either a flu shot or placebo in the other arm. And the safety profiles of receiving the two vaccines together uh, were very similar to receiving just one vaccine at a time. And importantly, the immune responses generated to each of the two vaccines was very similar, regardless of whether the vaccines were given at the same time or separately. Mm -hmm. So I think taking all that together, we can feel very safe about giving both a COVID vaccine and a flu shot at the same time. What we know from the data presented to the FDA about the trials in five to 11 year olds was that there were no cases of anaphylaxis in the over 3000 children that received the vaccine. And what we know more broadly now that millions and millions of people over the age of 12 have received the Pfizer vaccine is that cases of anaphylaxis or severe allergic reaction to this vaccine are very, very rare. In general, if an individual has an allergy to any of the components of the vaccine, they should avoid getting this vaccine and discuss their options with their doctor. Other allergies to medications or food allergies are not a contraindication to getting this vaccine. It may have implications for how long your child is monitored after getting the vaccine, but this vaccine can still be given safely to children with those allergies. <laughs>